been asked recently, do I have to register my script for it to be copyright protected? Hi, I'm Elizabeth Nixon, attorney at law, and the answer to that question is no. You do not have to register any work for it to have a copyright protection. So when does a copyright arise and what's the difference between a copyright and a registration? It's really easy. A copyright is born with a work. So for example, if you're an author, the moment you put pen to paper, the copyright arises. If you're a photographer, the moment that shutter opens and closes, a copyright arises to protect that particular photo. Then what's the purpose of registration? Well, you see lawyers get involved and they like evidence. We want a date certain that will confirm to the whole world, not only is this your work, but this is when it was created. So how do you register a work? If you um, have a script, if you have a photo, a compilation of songs, it's really easy to register them. You can do it online at www.copyright.gov. Go to the form section and it's form CO, as in Cat Oscar. It's $50 to register online and it takes a period of five to eight months for the Copyright Office to return to you your certification of copyright. But that copyright certification is retroactive. What does that mean? Well, if you send your registration in online on January 1st, but you don't get confirmation from the Copyright Office until August, the actual date of your copyright protection is retroactive back to January 1st, the date that you sent it in. So even though you are maybe moving into production with a script and you haven't heard back from the Copyright Office, you can have confidence that your work is protected from the date it was received. Some writers have also asked me, what about protection with the WGA? That's the Writers Guild of America. The Writers Guild of America is a great forum to register a script for screenplay writers. But I give you this warning. A WGA copyright registration is only effective for five years. Now, you can renew it at any time, but if you do not renew it, the WGA will throw away your copyright material. So you need to do two things. Keep a copy of your own work, keep a copy of the registration with the WGA, and then remember to renew it. So my suggestion is, even if you want to do a WGA registration, you should also register it with the Copyright Office at www.copyright.gov. I hope this has been helpful for you. Stay tuned for more helpful information that will give you the confidence you need to launch into your business destiny.